Hey everybody, welcome back. We're just waiting for John Battleborn. Now leave me out of this. Um, okay. May your sword be sharp. And your tongue sharp. Okay, so let's take a look to see what that says. So, uh, last we left, we were waiting for John to go talk to us over here. So that's actually a great cutoff, because we were just waiting for him. Um, but what this is, is it's going to give us the proof that, uh... Thorald was taken by the um, Thalmor. Is it? Which is it? Imperial missive. It has come to my attention that inquiries have been made to the whereabouts of Thorald Greymane. It is my duty to inform you that the Thalmor agents have taken possession of the prisoner and have escorted him to North Watch Keep. I don't think I need to elaborate. It is in everyone's best interest if the matter is dropped entirely. I trust there will be no further inquiries into this matter. So, the next thing we're going to do is go talk to General Tullius. And we're going to see why he would do such a thing. And while we're at it, also, you know, in the true role-playing fashion, ask him what happened to my son and why he died in front facing the dragon. What that was all about. Avelstein! Do you have news? Did you find something? I did. I have proof. I knew it. Let me see. Please. Mm-hmm. The Thalmor. Yep. By the Nine. It's worse than I thought. I know. So, it's North my favorite Watch quest. Keep. Yep. Then we know where to hit him. There's no we in this. I'll do anything if it means saving my brother. You'll join us, won't you? Nope. Thorald can't be left to those monsters. I understand, but let me see if I can bring him back without any bloodshed. What? You alone reasoning with the Thalmor? I'm persuasive I'm now. Friend. I can do it. You're serious, aren't you? Yes. Very well. I'll give you a chance. But if you can't do it, I will. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we will head to Solitude and see if we can talk our way out of it first. Just because I want to see, I like seeing that those um, conversation options. I think they're interesting, and it kind of tells you how this war is kind of a little what bit backwards. It? Um, do I want to do the champion's quest now? I kind of do, but I, we've picked up enough. So, the other thing too is, um, the more quests you do in Whiterun and get them done before you talk to the companions, the less likely you are to do something, like, kind of dirty and dumb for them, because they will give you, the champions gives you, well, you probably know this already, they'll give you quests like intimidate so-and-so, and I don't like those. I don't think those really go along with the the way the champions work, but whatever. So, do we need anything? No, I think we got everything we need. Um, so we can go get Nettlebane if we want to. We can go to get the sword. Oh yeah, the sword. Let's get the sword first and finish that quest up, because then we get some easy sword and shield tactics, which I think really is one-handed um, attack, which is what we use. So that's a good one. So that's good. Let's see. Oh my goodness, that's a big sword there. Okay. All right, where is he? Kill the bandit leader. Is that the quest? Oops, where's the miscellaneous? Oh, it's in Valheim Towers. I guess we have a reason to go blow it up now. <laughs> See what I told you? We just need an excuse. Now that we have an excuse, now we'll clean it out. Thanks for coming along, by the way. So, yeah. We'll do another couple of chunks there, too, but... Uh, I know that... Uh, oh, it's starting to rain. Oh, It's neat. Rain releases all the best smells. Mm -hmm. It does. It's actually raining right now. Oh, gosh, it's coming down pretty hard. Alright, we're out in the miserableness. Here, Inigo, hold on. Let me... Let me, what is on your mind? Let me give you your hood. What are we trading? Your hood, so you don't get your fur all wet. At least not too much more. Uh, yeah. There you go. There you are. A little bit better. If you need anything else, just ask. I will. I'll put on my stupid helmet. Fine. There'll be better helmets later on, I know. Well, the steel helmet, although it fully covers your face, which I don't like that, but... 
we can put up with it for a while anyway. But I've just got the main armor right now. I don't have anything else. So, yeah, now I'm just kind of a mix of stuff, aren't I? Because I've got the Nord mail gauntlets and boots. I've got steel armor helmet, and then I've got steel plate as my main chest plate. So, looks kind of good actually. We're getting to the levels where we should start to see some of the more interesting stuff in immersive armors, though. So, and I was gonna Google this. I know I shouldn't probably do this in a let's play because that seems like it's defeating the purpose. But I want to find out if there's a way. Oops. If there's a way to save Hunting Brew Meadery and still fulfill the Thief's Quest, because I don't like, um, there's a Thief Quest for knocking out Hunting Brew Meadery, and I don't want to do that. I like Hunting Brew Meadery, especially now that we got the Charm Necklace, because that thing is really kind of nice to have. And I don't like Blackbriar Mead. Yes, yes, I have a preference over a video game mead. Sue me, alright? Okay, we also don't have that one. Is that Cradle Crush Rock? I think it is. No, that's another one. Which we can mark up later. Um, oh! Hi! Who are you? I know you do. Good. Thank you, Inigo. That guy was actually doing more damage than he should have. Um, why? Uh, speaking of being an amalgamation of crap, so are you, buddy. Goodness. Do I like that helmet better than mine? No, it's got a negative one armor rating. Look at all this other. You. Wow. You're a jerk. You took all their stuff. Oh man. Well, I'll take the mead and the gold and the torch. Man, he really did a number on these guys. I feel bad. All right, well, you have been avenged. I guess he must have been a stormcloak fighting. Must have been. But you never know, really. How's my health doing? Slowly increasing. Good. Yeah. So Val Time Towers. This is kind of a hike, but we'll be there in a few seconds here. Oh, but no, I was going to say I may have to relieve my wife of her shopping duties. Probably go meet her out for a drink or something. Keep her sane. Is that kind of a year? But that still doesn't mean I can't shoot more video. So that's good. So, yeah, so, um, speaking of mods, um, I, like I mentioned the stack mesh improvement mod in the last video. Uh, HD textures, I got that too. I'm actually running HD textures, the Skyrim to, uh, 4K HD te texture pack off the Nexus. I do not have the DLC. Um, and I don't really know much of a difference. I mean, I, I think that the, the HD textures does a better job of more significant impact. Ow! Really? Than the DLC does. Um, but they, and it, it, they will overwrite, because they actually are higher resolution, because I do, I think they are 4K resolution. Excuse me. Or four times resolution than what the DLC gives you. So if you want to do one or the other, if you have a question, I don't think anybody officially answers it anywhere on the mod pack, but, ooh, what happened to you? Did I kill you? No? Hmm. Um, but you can just do the mod from the Nexus and leave the vanilla DLC out of it. Hi! Remember me? I'm going to go kill everybody you, you uh, know and love. Oh, there's a trap. I don't know, do bandits really get along? I wonder what the life of a bandit in Skyrim is really like. It's just weird. People in Skyrim either don't like you, or they really like you. There's no real in between. Oh, Mace of Weariness. Stamina damage? Sure. Oh, and some jewelry. Okay, come on in. And we're gonna just close that door, so she doesn't feel... Maybe she'll still be alive and live through this. Do you have anything in the dresser? Nope. 
and this is a good one to take some pot shots at people. Let's see if there's anybody I can hit from here. Um, can we see the guy way over there? Oh, I don't have the zoom in function yet. Shoot. Oh, they're there somewhere usually. Or did I kill everybody here? Maybe I did. I don't remember. Oh well. Let's just go do this in the swashbuckling style. Oh. Stupid bees and their stupid honey. <clears throat> okay, let's see if I can get a good shot. Oh, filling up the stocks. I got an achievement. Yay. That is part of the Achieve This mod, if you remember. How can he see me? Yeah, that's him. Nope. You don't see me. I see you. There we go. That was a good shot. And now I can leisurely pick them off at my leisure. Shh. <laughs> Quiet. You know nothing. They're over. He's over there somewhere. Why don't I see the chair? Huh. Okay. Well. Is it just because. Ooh, hi. Oh, really? There we go. There you are. Where are you coming from? Oh, wow. One more. I can sort of barely see you. Give me one more shot. Come on. Come on. Shoot me one more time. No? Really? You're gonna think I'm hidden? Alright, I'll take it. I'll take those sneak points. Unbelievable. Alright, well, I guess I won't take him up. Let's go down and check it out. My sneak is increased to 23. Even though I'm wearing full plate armor. Goodness. Okay. So, we're going to switch back to the Cutlass because I have a feeling the Bandit Chief is going to run out here shortly. Let's see if they see me. Where is he? No, you don't see me. Yes, I see you though. There you are. Bye bye ya. That was a pretty good shot for not zooming in. Yes, yes, I know. Bow play in Skyrim is a joke. I know that, but... I enjoy it. It's not a joke. I think it's pretty good, but I think a lot of people would complain. That it's either too easy or not hard enough or something like that, but... I've always had a good time with using the bow in Skyrim. Okay, so that means... We haven't alerted anybody to our presence yet, so he's going to be up here. Uh, charcoal? Nope, just gold. And a fork! What? Okay, so he's dead. So then we just have to come up here and take this guy out. Or did I take him out on the bridge? Maybe not. He should be. Oh. Headshot. Can I do this? Oh my god, that went through his head, I swear. There we go. Yeah. That was sexy. Let's go up and see if I can do that again. Should be another guy. Up here, so oh, is he down now? Looks like he might be asleep. Nope, he's not. Oh my god, am I going to really sneak up on him and do this? No way. He's going to be sitting right up here. My goodness. Goodbye. Now, we do this. Stand up. Ah! 
Take it! I'm gonna keep just. There we go. Gosh, I feel like I'm crushing soda cans. Okay. We'll take that. Alright. Do you have anything else? You have steel shin boots again. Those aren't the right ones, though. Anything I really want to take? Yeah, we'll just take the axe. The rest of this stuff I can make. And I think that, as they say, is that. So, let's take a look at this bow up here. Hunting bow fatigue. Eh. It's not the greatest thing, but we'll sell it for more. And then there should be another one over here, which should be the black arrow. Yep. We'll get some more archery. And search the end table for junk. We have some not. Oh, I'm sorry. Some knives, some gold. Mm hmm. Nope. Oh, wait. The ruins of Kimmel Z. Yep. This is something, actually. Song of Peliel? That's nothing. That's, uh, like, what, seven books in the series or something like that? Uh, anything else here? Nope, just the chest. Let's break into this sucker. And we've got his sword, and we got all this other stuff, plus another spell tome. Cool. So we'll finish that up and go back. Aw, this poor guy. He just got nailed. Alright, and some elves here. It's all good stuff. Mysterious Akavir. Do I have this already? I feel like I haven't read this yet. And this is something that I think... Katsuragi would be interested in. Um, I probably talked about this when I first started this Let's Play. Uh, I play him as somebody who has Akaviri in his bloodline somehow. Either through his direct uh, ancestors or he's his, you know, somewhere down the line was married in or whatever. But uh, when I've read about the Akaviri, and I never, again, I didn't finish Oblivion, I know it's there too. But what I've read from the Skyrim books is there is a note here that talk about it. Yeah, um, you can't see it. I can't move my mouse. It's the second paragraph on the left, where it says, uh, These men, however, were eaten long ago by the vampiric ser certain serpent folk of the Seishi. Uh, had they not been eaten, these men would have eventually migrated to Tam Tamriel. The Nords left Atmor for Tamriel. Before them, the elves had abandoned the Almiris, had, had abandoned Almiris for Tamriel. The Red Guards destroyed Yokuda so they could make their journey. All men in Mare now or know Tamriel is the nexus of creation. With Lorcan and all, blah, blah, blah. why have they tried to invade it three times? There are four. There are four major nations of the Akavir. Now, this is related to the beast, the beast clans. So we got the Kamal, the Seishi, the Tangmo, and the Kalpotun. Um, so monkey people, tiger people, the snake people, and I forget what the last one is. Um, the king among the demons, da, 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 da. and one of them, the Tangmo, the brave monkey. I think he was considered somebody who was Dovahkiin or something like that. Um, this is an interesting book. If you haven't read it, you should read it. And this is kind of what I base my role-playing off of. So, would Katsuragi would read that, he would probably start to think of maybe there's something, some reason why he came to Skyrim after all. That's kind of where I get that from. You know what I mean, Indigo? So it's about this time that I start thinking maybe he's getting to start to get interested in his background and his history. Ooh, spring steel bow. And a Valenwood war bow. I think that's almost as good as my orc bow. Is it? Auto save, you're gonna kill me. Let's see what we got for damage. Where's the bows? 16 is the orcish bow. Spring steel bow is 14. Okay, so the spring steel bow is almost there. So if I improved it a little bit, it'd be right up there. Oh, it's getting nighttime already. And I don't know. What do you think? Should we see if we can attract some... Hey, buddy. Some vampires by speed traveling? I think so. I think so. Let's do that. Let's see if we can develop some vampires. And get some easy loot. And then we can also finish up our quest. Then you don't have to see me walking back either. Fast travel, that's what I was going to say. Because once we get a little bit better in levels that I'm not so... I'm, uh oh, people are still walking around. I don't like that. Just keeping an eye out. Because they're going to appear somewhere along this main road if they do it all. Why are you still ducking? 
I don't like that at all. Hmm. Okay. Let's go to... Well, let's save first. And it is 11... 25... 2016... And that's the first game. There we go. Cool. Don't kill Bellathor. Why are you walking around? Where are you going? Where is he going? Bellathor? Interesting. Oh, there's Amran. Perfect. This is good. Hi. Sometimes I miss the soldier's life. Guess what? You found it. I've been mm -hmm. looking for that blade for months. You took on all those bandits yourself? Yep. Thank you. Here, my father had a favorite sword and shield technique. Let me teach it to you in honor of his memory. One-handed increase to 36, and we cap. Awesome. Great, 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 great. Cool. Right, then. Thanks. Okay, so where are we at for levels? I thought we were run. No, I'm, I'm on level 11. What was I thinking? I was on level 24. Uh, okay, now we need to pump stamina a little bit. And we have a perk to increase. What do we want to use this for? I almost want to use this for smithing, because I think I'm close to the next one. Let's take a look. Ooh, not block. I mean, eventually block, but not right now. Um, okay, I'm going heavy armor, so I need 30. Okay, so let's put this perk into something else. What does this need to be? Requires 40. Okay, what about well-fitted? If you're wearing head, chest, hands, and feet. It's a good perk, but I hate wearing the helmet. But it is an armor bonus, and it's a reason to put on the helmet. Let's take a look and see what one-handed has first. Um, one-handed, I said. Okay, here we are. Requires 40. What about this one? Does it have more than one perk in here? It does. It requires 50. Okay. Fighting stance. Power attacks cost 25 per... 25% less stamina, sure. I was using some of those, so let's do that. Okay. Now, let us go to the Bannered Mare, and let's ask Inigo how we're doing. Because I think it's about time we can do that. Looking for my husband, Nazim? No, I'm Take not looking for Nazim. Why would I ever be looking for Nazim? That's a nice little quest. Food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Thanks. Can I buy a room? You, I heard it. No, I believe you. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thanks. I'll show you to your room right this way. I know where it is. You don't have to show me. Nope, nope, nope. I'm good. Here go. Come up here. What? Are you? Oh. Oh, all right, fine. I guess we'll just hang out and talk. This is my room. I rented it. That's right. Some privacy, please. Is he gonna walk out of here? Yes, he is. Okay. Yes. Let's no. <laughs> okay, will do. Thanks, Hulda. Okay, we're just gonna jump on the bed yes. and move over. Here we go. Okay. Because what we do is we wait for Indigo to come out here on the balcony. If he can get out here. Yes, he can. Uh huh. All right. I need to do something. What would you have me do? Yes. Have a seat. You're the boss. Thanks. Okay, so he's sitting there. Why don't you give those legs of yours a break? Join me. Oh, That's what I want to do. Life is hard and often short. If you ever get the chance to relax, take it. Okay, let's move it. Let's zoom in a little bit. So let's do FOB. Seventy. There we go. The Let's do E. It has been good adventuring by your side. I am glad I got to fight some spiders with you. I'm glad I gave you the chance. You're obsessed. <laughs> I suppose spiders have a certain something. Actually, no, he's upset. Eh, yeah, I'd say he's obsessed. We all have our hobbies, my friend. What is wrong with a little spider slaying? Nothing, really. Do you not enjoy the noises they make when you hit them? You got a good point there. Um, of course. I love spiding spiders. I agree. It is good we have so much in common. Anyway, I just wanted to make it clear that I am always ready for some spider smashing. 
I will keep that in mind. I get the message. Good. Did you want to talk about something else? Mm-hmm. We're going to ask you... Um... I think it's... Oh. Oh, we've got all sorts of stuff. Let's go through this, shall we? Yes. I have never been very good, though. I enjoy writing songs, but sometimes it is more fun just making up words as I go along. He's got some great songs. Improvisation keeps the mind sharp and boredom at bay. It's true. Would you sing something if we were traveling? Maybe, but nothing too serious. I would rather save my proper songs for the Bard's College. For now, anyway. Bard's College? Goodness! Well, I know it's silly, but my songs are special to me. I would rather perform them in a special place. That's fine uh, by me. If you just want me to improvise something while we are traveling, maybe I can help you out. It's nothing serious. Okay. It's fun. Um, I want to... Let's see. There we go. Let's do... How do you think I'm doing, Inigo? You want a performance review? Yes, please. Okay. Um, take your time. We have the okay. time. I will list some of your attributes. Here we go. You smell like flowers today. Thank you. You have some gold, but you could do with more. He's right. Um, you've done a little time behind the bars, <laughs> haven't we all? Your travels have taken you to a few interesting places, but much of Skyrim is still a mystery to you. Yeah, all the western you half. You are essentially homeless right now. I suppose. Uh, let me think. If you insist on fighting with magic, may I suggest more practice? I do not want to be unconscientiously scorched. Yes, sir. The state of your mind may be up for debate, but your body is healthy. When oh, you open your mouth, you usually talk yourself into trouble, not out of it. You need to practice your manipulation techniques. Okay. You are strong, free, and single. Yes, that's true. You can hold your own with a one-handed weapon. There is always more to be learned, though. Yep, In true. In life, you tend to go your own way. You do not follow the herd. This is an old you have great fashion sense. Uh -huh. but today uh, I'm all mixed see. up. Two-handed weapons do not seem to suit you. Yeah. I feel the same way. They are heavy and cumbersome. Yeah. You are not into politics. No, not yet. I might not be. Uh, what else? You are not very sneaky. <laughs> you are like a giant dancing in a pottery shop. Perhaps that's something you should work on. Yeah, maybe. You are not exactly well-read, but you've learned a thing or two. I like to think so. What have I missed? I don't know. Oh. Oh, aha. Your archery still needs work. Oh. Do not be disheartened. I am an oddity. Yeah, this is true. everyone can be deadly with a bow and good-looking. <laughs> Thanks. Now, how do I conclude? Don't know. You are destined for greatness, my friend. You are still fairly new to this adventuring thing, but you are getting more powerful every day. Thanks, Inigo. That is that. I hope you enjoyed my insight. I did. Thank you. Um, okay. Let's do... I'm Follow right me. Behind you. Good. So, if you've never done that before, uh, I recommend it. Um, it's really fun. And he changes as you go along, and it's actually... It's, it's somewhat enlightening. So if you think your character is doing really well and you're working all these things and you ask him, sometimes he'll, like for example, books. Let's say you, you're, you've got one of your OCD quests to make sure you read all the books to get all the stuff out of them. If he says something like that, that means really you haven't been paying attention to books as much as you had. Uh, the other thing too is uh, with obviously like with persuasion, I keep trying to improve that and make my character have a few more points than that. And yet, uh, I've still got a ways to go, so... He's right. It's fun. It's interesting. I like it. It, makes me f it, it validates your playthrough. It really does. Um, let's sleep. So there you go. There's a little insight into Indigo for you. A little bit of Indigo fan service. Indigo fan service for you. It's fun stuff. Come to a lot of her Dude, jeez! Sorry, Papa, but I'm not quite in the mood. Oh, I don't know what you're in the mood for, but it's not going to be that. Let's get out of here before bad things happen to good people. Okay, let's go there. That's the second time that's happened. 